The coronavirus continues to impact our community and in ways that may not be obvious. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Caitlin Kendall. And I'm Brian McElhatton. ABC 21's Corinne Rose explains why future building and investment in Fort Wayne could suffer because COVID-19 concerns prevented people from eating in restaurants for so long. The goal is to get things opened back up in a safe fashion so that revenues can continue to go back up. When the coronavirus outbreak shut down the economy, especially restaurants and bars, Allen County could not collect any food and beverage tax. That money is used by the Capital Improvement Board when it identifies potential projects and initiatives for public investment. However, Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry says that revenue is down 20 to 25 percent, which means there won't be as much cash to spread around. They examine uh, uh, various projects and initiatives, and they borrow money for those, and then they repay it with food and beverage. So now they have to be a little more careful as far as those uh, projects that they pick because we're projecting uh, a, a decrease in uh, food and beverage tax. Mayor Henry says that revenue decrease unquestionably factored into the Redevelopment Commission's decision to terminate a contract with the developers of the massive Electric Works project. The commission realized that perhaps uh, it might be, uh, might be a situation where the developers need to take another look at that and maybe scale it back a little bit because, again, of the possibility of a decrease in food and beverage tax. In terms of other potential economic development projects, the president and CEO of Greater Fort Wayne, Inc. says discussions continue with out-of-town investors, and he's hopeful those talks will produce results as the local economy rebounds. There's still a lot of activity in the economic development uh, pipeline that we're working on, so there's a lot of good projects still out there. Uh, there have been some projects that have slowed down a little bit, uh, but we get the clear sense that those are going to be coming back uh, soon. It all depends on how quickly and safely the economy can fully restart. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.